we're going to go through the rigging of the cheetah. When you unroll your sail, try not to let it flap in the wind. The other thing you want to do is make sure you don't leave your sail out in the sun. Only 300 hours of UV that the sailcloth can take until it starts degrading. That's true with all sailcloth. When you slide your mast in, I'll show you a trick. I'll start with the mast in two pieces. Push the tip to the back of the boom cutout to clear the boom cutout. Then join the mast and then one knee up, one knee down. Push the tack on the knee that's up. Push the tack down on your knee to hold it in place and then push the mast up into the top of the sail. You can rotate the mast to make it easier. If you've got a bigger sail with more luff curve, sometimes it's hard to push the mast up. So you can go to the top of the boom cutout, hold on to the top of the boom cutout with one hand, and then the mast with the other hand and just sort of spin the mast and let the cutout come together and it straightens the luff curve. You always want to go up to the top and make sure that the mast is seated into the head cap. To set your extension, uh, look on the sail and it will tell you how much extension you need. Also, there's a ruler on the tack strap so you can check to make sure that your extension is the length that the numbers say it is. Then for threading the pulley, you want to make sure you don't get any crosses in your line. Start with the pulley that's closest to the mast and go under the pulley. And then come to the pulley that's on the top of the extension and go under that one. Then go to the far pulley, so leave the middle pulley on the sail. Go to the far pulley on the sail and go over that pulley. And then the remaining pulley on the extension, go over that one. And then take the line up through the center without any crosses under the center pulley on the sail and then back into the cleat and that way you'll have no crosses. Downhauling is very simple. You want to downhaul until the calibration gauge lines up with the bottom of the mast and it's a good idea to start with just the medium mark lining up with the bottom of the mast. For stronger wind, the max mark will line up with the bottom of the mast and for light wind you can have the minimum mark line up with the bottom of the mast. If you are not using an ESI mast, then the calibration gauge will need to be set by you and this is very simple to do. What you'll do is ignore the calibration gauge and just downhaul the sail, release the outhaul completely and look at the black dots that are printed on the upper leech and get the looseness so it just comes to those dots and you'll want to bounce the leech up and down so that you can see it. That will be your medium setting. So after setting the looseness of those dots then you'll go and move the gauge at the bottom of the sail so that the medium mark lines up with the bottom of the mast. Now that you have the calibration gauge set, every time you rig you can just use the calibration gauge. You don't need to look at the dots again. After downhauling, you tension the tack strap. And the tack strap is important because it redistributes the load back onto the edge of the foot and it tensions the lower leech, puts a little more shape into the lower battens, makes the sail more stable. So tension the tack strap until you get a little wrinkle coming out of the tack. And then to store the, the tack strap, wrap it around the mast and under itself and then back onto the Velcro. For your downhaul line, wrap it around your fingers into a coil and then store it in the mesh pocket inside the pad at the bottom of the sail. Next we come to the outhaul. To set the outhaul, first you have to make sure your sail is correctly downhauled. There's three cords sewn at the back of the sail. There's a long cord, 
a medium chord and a short chord. The long chord shows how much outhaul you need for strong wind, the medium chord for medium wind, and the short chord for light wind. When you use the chords, you want to have the boom resting on your thigh and gently pull the cord out without pulling the clue hard. You just want to let the clue sit where it is, but just gently pull the cord out and adjust the boom to the end of the cord. And then outhaul the sail to the end of the boom. It's a good idea to adjust the outhaul and downhaul together. So if you reduce your downhaul, you'll also want to reduce your outhaul. So if you go with a minimum setting on your downhaul, you'll want to go with the short minimum cord on the outhaul. The goal when tensioning the battens is not to over tension them, just to get the slight wrinkles out of the sides of the batten pocket. So we're not talking about the wrinkle down the center of the batten pocket from the curve of the batten. We're talking about the little wrinkles on the film. And you'll notice that uh, there's some wrinkles on the cheetah in the luff area in between the battens that won't come out with batten tension. So, and you can pretty much tell that because if you crank your batten tension up really high, the wrinkles remain. For derigging, you want to first undo your outhaul completely, then undo your downhaul. First take your tack strap off before your downhaul. If you leave the tack strap and undo your, your downhaul, then the tack strap will get caught on the extension. So undo the tack strap first completely. You're going to use it to hold the sail when you roll it. Undo your downhaul completely. Take your boom off. And then to get the mast out, spin the mast without pulling on the mast. Just spin it and gently, gently let it come out without wrinkling the sail. Again, you don't want to crease your sail. Most people, like I said, uh, ruin their sails rigging and derigging, not sailing the sail. They do more damage rigging and derigging. So when you take your mast out, make sure you don't crease the sail. Spin the mast and then let it come out slowly. For rolling the sail, tuck the head and then as you roll, make sure that you're parallel to the battens. If you get to a batten and you're not parallel, you can just pull the batten out to make it parallel and keep rolling all the way through. When you finish, stick your hand inside the core and spin the core. With the other hand, pull the tack to make it a tighter wrap and then take the tack strap, tuck the pad and wrap the tack strap around the pad and back onto the Velcro. When you store your sail, make sure you go sleeve end first into the bag. And if you do store your sail vertically, it needs to be resting on the sleeve. It'll damage your sail if you rest it on the clue. That's the rigging for the cheetah. If you have additional questions, please go to our website, ezzy.com.